What's your go-to song when you're like now about to Sanchez to feel good on stage and stuff? Anything Beyonce. <laughs> And uh, I remember the first time seeing Joy, I just knew that this is a big shot, like serious. Uh, you know when you're, when you're interviewing with someone and you're, uh, you're, you're, you're looking at the people who are like, Nani uh, uh, Nani oh my and, <laughs> and you're like, this one, are this going to be a problem? <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> 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 but let me tell you, mm-hmm. someone said this thing, okay, from the, so as an actor, we should say there's nothing as beautiful as seeing someone at an audition, and then you both find each other on set. Yeah, it's true, the same feeling to be passing up the interview room, and then, you know, walking in, like the first day we're going to stand up, and I'm like, oh my god! You so we like, genuinely find someone who's, true. like, because we talked, I think, well, among the first yeah, we were there like an hour before, Woo! I think. <laughs> yeah, that's a dad yeah. for you guys. True. Anyway, so um, the reason why we decided to talk about, as you can see from the title, uh, we're talking about the master, it's master in the art of oh, starting. starting. Yeah, true. So one of the reasons why we are doing this episode specifically is because Kim uh, has, no, just do it. So, Take it yeah. Away. So next month, I, I have a monthly event that happens every month. This is going to be chapter two. So next month on August 5th, I'm having an online Zoom event that's called Mastering the Art of Studying. So yeah, like I told you, I'm a speaker. This is what I do. Right? So I, I, I got interested. So I have a whole thing behind it. It's called Living the Dream. Right. So if you want to check out Living the Dream on Facebook, Living the Dream, you can, you can find it and see what we do there. And the whole idea we, we are pursuing is we find that maybe when you come out of school or when you're even working, you realize a lot of these people are chasing something at the right. end, you know? And this chasing something at the end uh, doesn't work out because you never get there. You know, right. because when you get it, you want to get something else, you want to get something else. Right. And all these takes away from you, your family, your happiness, your health, all these things. Like you're just super invested in achieving physical stuff that you miss out on life itself. So the reason it's called living the dream is making sure that on a daily basis, as much as you're going for the dream, you're living it right. on a daily basis. So that's basically what we do. And uh, now mastering the art of studying is crucial because 
everybody has to start from somewhere, right. right? Even when you're chasing the dreams, you have to start from somewhere. And I remember when I was uh, going to Form 1, so I got admitted and everything, and then so uh, my dad was like, that was the first time I was going to a boarding school. So my dad was like, that boarding my yeah. Form 1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and so my dad was leaving, and so, so he called me aside and he told me, son, you know what? The speed that you start with determines how far and how fast you get there. Woo! So, and that, that is a big deal for me. So, it talks everything about, it speaks about everything about study. So, the speed that you start with determines everything that's going to come after. So, you need to be good at studying. Right. That's why we're talking about you must master this art. You yeah. must. And also, like, starting is not a one time thing. It's a, right. something you do over and over, over and over, over and over, you know? Like, you start a YouTube channel, then you start an Instagram channel, then you start a new job, then you start a life as a mom, as a wife. There is, like, all these starting that happen. Right. And, you know, when you're starting stuff, uh, you're always anxious. You're, you, 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 sometimes you even feel like you want to quit on it right. at, at the start because things are not, like, really showing up. But that is where opportunity lies. So you need to be good at starting and know everything that happens around starting so that when things are happening, you're not caught between them. You're like, I know I'm anxious because it's the first time. The thing I need to do is to do this and this so that I get to step two. So that's why we need to master it. Exactly. And I like, I like that you said for you to get to where you, like for you to get to your dream, you have to leave the dream. So yeah, I think true, true. you have to start somewhere for you yeah. to leave the dream. True. And I think a lot of, because I think a lot of you guys who watch my channel are people who are, I don't know, a lot of us, I, I guess most of my audience is in Kampo. Kampo, yeah. And I'm, I, I, I'm not sure if I have like a high school <laughs> audience, but a lot of people are people who are literally just starting, either you are doing a bit now, you're starting out to do your degree, okay. either you're, you're about to finish a degree, you're starting out this job hunting and leaving, the dream that you started before, mm -hmm. like that's why I thought this would be such a cool collaboration. Yeah. And that thing you said, there's something I read on your Facebook. By the way, when you mentioned the links to what he does, I make sure they're in the description box. So yeah. his Facebook page. Check them out. Check them so that's out. your Facebook so page. So there's a Facebook page, there's an Instagram. YouTube, it's coming up. We want to do legit content on YouTube. So like right. she's doing like clean stuff like this. So YouTube is not yet there. Uh, yeah. But first of all, check, check out Facebook and Instagram. Right. So, um... Also, I make sure I leave that. So, in case you have any details, you can also text me if you have my number and you have to know more. I can just forward you the number yeah, on the song. So, on your Facebook page, there's something you say no one was ever certain of anything. Everything was created through trial and error. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Everybody. Literally, everything. <laughs> has, I mean, there's a conversation we want to have now. One of my. We were having a conversation. Okay, first it was devotion at home. Yeah. And then, like, for some reason, the next day I had a conversation with a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. We're talking about how. Our generation, millennials and generation X, we are in that we are the we are the they call it the macro microwave generation. Yeah. Like while I say well, ah, chakula ni bari bi, kwa microwave thirty seconds, kwa tu kama. That is okay. Nusu kama kwenye kuna mwenye tanda kwa tafuta kuni, akujaache, akujaache, everything you know, like it was, takes an hour to just warm tea. <laughs> exactly, you get. It. So we live in a very shortcut kind of generation where a lot of people want to get there. They just so, don't know how to start. Or for most importantly, people don't, they never start, you get. Yeah. I, I've, been, I've, met a lot of, I've met a lot of people who are like, oh, I want to act, or I want to become an entrepreneur, or I want to, I'm like, see, I did like cash and then you'll be shipping in stuff <laughs> from, from China and back. Yeah. No. Because I think that some of the people in high school, also, I have a friend, she sent me a link to her. She does cast, she custom, she brands. Yeah. So she custom made t shirts and cups. Mm -hmm. And this this same girl, the same young lady, mm -hmm. she was the same person. She used to, that guy used to make money. I don't know how to do it. 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 For that kind of thing, she had your canteen hours that you sometimes when you're in punishment, I'll fungu canteen. You know? yeah. Then I realized. Like when I was looking through, when I was trying to prepare for this episode, I realized a lot of these people literally started from the small that they could. You yeah, know? true. Like they mastered that that of Nico Hapa, and this is how much I need to make. True. And then now they're doing bigger things than you think. You know? Actually, that's how everything literally is done. Like no one ever knows that this is going to work out. Right. One of the, my favorite speakers, I don't know if you know his name, so this guy is called Bosi. Mm -hmm. Bosi says he's like a serious corporate speaker. 
So what you say is, you think like a person like Bob of Colin, he's, he was like the best CEO this country has ever known, right? And you think that Bob makes all the right decisions all the time. But he says, great leaders make a lot of decisions and get 80% of them wrong. But the 20% they get right, they are like legit ones. So what you see out here, you just see 20% of the guy mm -hmm. not knowing that he has done, because he was saying on an average day, a CEO makes like seven decisions, seven critical decisions. Oh, wow. So how many decisions are those in a month? So that's like 210 decisions, right? Oh. And out of those 210 decisions, maybe only 20 or 30 will be like legit mm -hmm. decisions. The other ones will need to be reconsidered and everything and everything. So no one knows anything out here. Yeah. You just have to do as much so that the ones that you get right, you get right and you move forward. That's and I like, I like that you mentioned something about mistakes. What do you feel like is a, is a gap between that, that fear of failure and the fear of messing up each and every time, picking yeah. themselves up over and over again? Uh -huh. Like with that generation, what do you feel is that thing that in a... What oh, this, is, this is super interesting. I guess this video is coming out tomorrow on my Facebook page. So today I was speaking about the same thing and I was saying when we were in school, uh, we were taught to focus more on the failures than on the success. When nice. you just think about it like from a superficial point, you don't know. Like you get 80%, mm -hmm. but the punishment you get for, uh, for getting 20% wrong is nice. superb. And then your brain just registers, just make sure you don't see any mistake anywhere. Nice. So your brain just goes to the failures, 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 failures. Mm -hmm. So what you need to be aware of is just appreciate yourself for the 80%. Right. And the 20% that you get wrong, just forgive yourself and move forward, right? Mm -hmm. But it's, it's just from the conditioning that we, we've been having, the mistakes we're chastised about them. Everybody is just tuned to like noticing the mistakes. Even they don't appreciate right. that, that cheeky, I have made an effort, I have showed up today, mm -hmm. I have written a script that they've approved. Right. But for this other one thing that got Ah, it messes with you, it fucks up your day. Can I do that one? <laughs> it messes up with you. <laughs> it messes up with your day yeah. big time. Yeah. And and just some because someone didn't say hi, because someone just looked at you with bad eyes and it messes with them. everything else. You forget there are those people who high five you, there are those people who sent you nice mails, good job and everything. Right. So you just go to the wrong stuff, wrong stuff. And that's like a real mindset that needs to shift. When we come together to do this again, I think we'll also talk about the the master in the heart of rejection. Yeah. Because yes. yeah. even when you're starting out, you will be rejected. I was Ooh. reading, um, okay, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but I was reading something. She said she was rejected by a hundred publishing companies. It took at her 29. twelve years right. before the first copy was ever like the first publisher accepted a copy. Right. And twelve years of knocking doors. Right. At, at not knocking doors, knocking at doors. Whatever. Mm -hmm. When they reject you, what I say is, you see your dream. Right. It's just your dream. We, we can have these awesome conversations, mm -hmm. but the thing that you want to do, mm -hmm. it was input in you, in your space. I call it the spirit. So it was input in your spirit because it's yours. I'll never get it. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you explain it. Right. I'll never, because it's in your spirit. And what I want to do, you'll never get it. I only I know what's going on within. So the fact that you're out here waiting for people to understand you, oh. to get you, they are not in your space. Exactly. So they wow. never get you. They have their own things in their heads. So why would they consider they you? They always find loopholes. Yeah. Because it's not their own thing. And and you know when 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 someone pitches you an idea, you you judge it from your own perspective because you, you don't have their own experience. So they only, they only judge you from their own experiences, right? So if a business never worked out for them and you go and say, you know what, I want to do one, 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 they tell you, we've been there, we've done that, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But that who who had gone to the moon before 1964, mm -hmm. right? Oh, no, no one had. Like before 1953, the first guy who went up, uh, the highest mountain is called? Everest. Everest, yeah. Went up in 1953. No one had ever been there. So if you go uh, to, to any other person and tell them, I want to climb Mount Everest, they'll tell you, you're fucked up. Mm -hmm. 
this doesn't work. No one gets up there. Mm -hmm. But then the dream is yours. You're the one who sees Mount Everest. You're the one who sees the okay, capability of getting up there. So show up. Don't just wait for them to approve stuff for you. Right. Because it's not up to them to approve. Just do your thing. Keep going. I mean, like, like, show up. Just literally show up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay. And then keep at it. I don't even... <laughs> now someone says something I'll expect to go to so I what it is. So before we finish up, mm -hmm. what's the one thing, what are you looking forward to impacting in people with what you're doing? Yes, there's a question. So for me, I just want people to never compromise. Right. Like, if you have, you see, there is nothing that is real or there is nothing realistic about a person owning a private plane. Because it's a whole plane. Why do you need such? Because they can afford it. Exactly, right? So that, that whole dream, for you, it seems out there. It's not realistic. Mm -hmm. And out here, you, 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 you go out with your dreams and people tell you, be realistic. Mm -hmm. Think about it, be realistic. For me, I just want to put, do not be realistic about this stuff. The world is ours. Mm. It's ours to go out for it. Just like, yeah. if you want to own a plane, if you want to own a yacht, if you want to retire at 40 or at 25, do your thing. Get out there, do your thing, and no one should tell you anything. Because no one knows anything. No, no one knows shit out here. You're just trying to figure out there, yeah. all of us. Like you just, you just own, your, own your path and just go with go for it. your spirit and your space. Like yeah. Say. yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, King speaks. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, I shall, so, remember, I'll put, I'm putting all the details to what he does on the description box. True. You can just, literally, it's just a click away. Mm -hmm. Then you can engage with him. Oh, on Facebook, you'll find his contacts. Yeah. But if you also want to reach through, reach out, eh, reach out through our staff, uh -huh. you can, you can just comment there if you don't have my number. If you do, yeah. because you do, you can just True. text me. Or you DM me on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on board. I really appreciate this. Yeah? Thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's super. It's really you, you know, like, your channel is one of the channels that I have like, the notification bell on. So, <laughs> you put like, that in charge? You know that I was like, like no, it's for it. I can show you. So the phone is here. I can show you. I have, I know when, oh, wow. every time Thank you put you. on a, an episode, I watch it and I, I love it. I just love the way the GT is raw and, and it's fun. And you never know when you're getting to the end of the episode, you're like, shit, it was only 14 minutes. Ah. Oh, wow. anyway. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you. Your sister, I thank love you. your sister. Go say hi to her. Yeah. I will. Yeah, yeah. Go say hi. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, 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 Until yeah, next yeah. time, have a lovely day. Yeah, see you. Oh, wow. <laughs>